the capacity building targeting members of the Technical Advisory Committee of the West Coast Region is meant to galvanize efforts to counter coastal erosion on beaches. Tijan Bojang, the GCCA Plus Project Officer for Operations at the Department of Water Resources, said the training is designed to build a common understanding among stakeholders of climate change impact affecting coastal areas. Sea is gradually coming as a result of the uh, sea level rise and then other factors. So people need to understand these factors so that um, they can try to see how to adopt and then how to put mitigation issues in order to uh, uh, stop this issue. Mr. Bojang said climate change impacts are multiple and cross-cutting adding that in extreme climatic events, water availability is directly affected along with impacts on other sectors. The Chief Meteorologist, Department of Water Resources, Dr. Peter Jiba, said increasing climate-related hazards due to global warming and climate change, the Department of Water Resources continues to place significant emphasis on observing, monitoring, and predicting the weather, climate, and water resources of the country. Department of Water Resources works closely with government ministries and departments and several other development partners through various development projects and programs. These efforts are guided by government priorities, that's the NDP, and the need of the general public. Our work aims to enhance the resilience of vulnerable ecosystems and communities throughout the Gambia. Philip Demba and Muskeba Jabang, both participants, underscored the significance of building the capacity of stakeholders at local, district, and regional levels for the implementation of adaptation action. All stakeholders from different institutions, if we are not um, taking the effect of climate change rightly or not doing the needful things at hand uh, by now, our children will be in difficult situation. They will be affected, really. Climate change is a bony issue to everyone because it destroys our environment. And as a forester, I'm very much happy that I'm part of this group so as to know what it takes to be working in, on the coast to stop this soil erosion. This is the main reason why we also planted mangroves on the beaches. Effective delivery of climate and weather information for the general public requires the involvement of a more participatory disciplinary approach that brings together research and development institutions, appropriate disciplines, farmers, as well as partners to reduce the negative impact of climate change through information sharing. Reporting from Brikama West Coast Region, I am used for Bojang.